Hi guys, Jessica Sanders here of ColorMeCreativeArt.com. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to do a quick alcohol ink basic supply list. Getting ready for, drum roll please, alcohol ink month at Color Me Creative Art. I'm super excited. I'm going to be playing with these all month long. I'm going to give you some videos with as many tips and tricks and techniques as I can pack in the month of September and so I hope you will um, get your inks out and play and so just in case you don't uh, you haven't used alcohol inks before and um, or maybe you just want to know what I'm going to be using my basic supply list is what I'm going to share with you today so here we go first of course you need alcohol inks now alcohol inks are a solvent based ink just like a sharpie uh, so you know sharpies write on glossy surfaces and just about anything so that's the kind of ink that the alcohol inks are um, also you can get them in chameleon pens and copic refills but the kind that I have are the ranger alcohol inks um, and see this is my case that I recently found at uh, Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. Um, so I have a lot of colors, but you will see from this downloadable chart, see my checks, I am missing a lot of the Ranger colors. I thought I had all of them, but no, I don't. Far from it. Okay, but but I do have a wide range of colors. I have, I have some to play with. Uh, so they come in these little bottles. They usually come in a three pack. Um, I don't have one of those out. I do have some unopened ones. Um, and uh, these are really great. They're a little bit different than say the Copic refills or the chameleon pins or something like that because these do have a resin in them uh, which makes them a little I think adhere a little bit better and maybe more of a glossy finish. Uh, so Let's see, those are the, the inks that I'm going to use. Let's see what's come next. Uh, talked about that color chart. You can download this color chart at Ranger. Um, they have several different ones, but I recommend this one with all of the colors in them. I will put that link down below or and over on my website. Um, so then the other thing you're going to need, first you need your inks, and then the other thing that's really fun are the mixatives. So the mixatives are the metallics and the black and the white. So I have two here as an example. And these act a little differently than the inks. Here, and if you can hear that, they, they usually come with a mixing ball. I don't think the black has a mixing ball. But um, a little goes a long way with the mixatives. So if you just want to get one color mix of tips just to try it out, you can get copper, gold, silver, pearl, uh, black and white. And uh, so I'm going to be working with those a little bit and tell you how they work. They're a little bit different. They are so much fun. Um, and then the next thing we're going to need is blending solution. I guess I should have my little list somewhere else. Um, okay, so Ranger makes a blending solution. And they say... Um, how is it Tim puts it? Blending solution is to alcohol inks like water is to watercolor. So this will lighten, move, and in some cases remove the alcohol inks. Um, and it's good to have. Okay. And then that will make your inks go a little light, lot further. Another thing you can use with alcohol inks and that I'll be using is isopropyl alcohol. Now this happens to be a spray bottle from the local pharmacy, Walgreens, you can see, and it is 91% isopropyl alcohol. The best to get is the 90%, but I do also have a bottle of the 70%. You can see that. So either one of those will work, but 90 is better, but sometimes you can't find it. Um, and also, while we're on the subject of alcohol, antibacterial hand wipes these will work better than a baby wipe because the baby wipes don't have this alcohol base that the um, bacterial antibacterial hand wipes have 
Um, okay, and then a dropper, which I also left in my box. So I have this dropper bottle, and I can see that top. Now I can put like a little different kind of top on this dropper bottle, but this kind of dropper bottle will work, and it's for the alcohol. Just so you know, Ranger does not recommend putting the blending solution or alcohol in a spray bottle, but I bought this one this way, so, you know, but you don't want to find miss. All right, so after alcohol, then you're going to need something to put your inks on. And so, we have several different kinds of surfaces, uh, usually non-porous. You get a completely different effect if you use a porous surface. Okay, so I have some papers here to show you. This is not supposed to be there. Okay, this is the paper that Ranger makes. It is, uh, I think it's like a five by three and a half. I might be wrong about the size on there. I'm would have to measure uh, but it comes with the foil a mat and a glossy if you wanted to go that route it might be an easy way to pick up some paper for the alcohol inks um, so I'll be using uh, several different types of paper I might be using some of this this is the kind of result you get with the Ranger paper I also have a big 250 pack of Mohawk color copy glossy cardstock that I got from Amazon. I think you can see that's glossy and it works great with alcohol inks. You can cut it up in smaller sizes or you can leave it big and have nice big alcohol ink painting. Um, so this works great but it does go through on the back. I'll show you this one that I uh, made on the glossy cardstock. See, it does have ink on the back. The more ink you put, the more it will bleed through on this kind of paper. Does it bleed through? A little bit on the, this is overflow, but uh, that's where it bleeds through on the, on the Ranger paper. So, same difference, I guess. Um, the other thing I'm going to be using is Yupo paper. If you're not familiar with Yupo, it is kind of, basically a plastic and it comes in transparent or white and I prefer just to use the white and uh, that's a really nice it works a lot differently than the other types of paper so the inks will move a lot more on the Yupo paper and you, you know there's a lot of a difference between the Yupo paper and the glossy cardstock that you can get so here's some examples with the Yupo, a couple of little things I did, and you notice if there's any ink on the back, it's because I had too much ink and it went around the edges. It does not go through. This is a plastic kind of paper. Okay, and then kind of a bonus if you just, you know, maybe you're you love paper like I do. <laughs> I found this paper. Um, in the calligraphy section at the craft store, it's made by Yasutomo, and it's mineral paper, and it's actually made from rocks, and it is slightly transparent, translucent, and you get even more of a different effect. You get a very matte effect when you use this paper, and it is a lot like Yupo in that, see, this is not... It doesn't really bleed through. There's a lot of ink on the other side of this, and it did not bleed through. Uh, so that is actually a lot of fun. It's really made for calligraphy, but it's fun for alcohol inks. So that's just a little bonus paper type there. So I suggest when you get your alcohol inks that you get a piece of your paper and you just make some drops and swatch it out. Because even if you have this color chart, these colors are not going to be exactly the intensity that you can see. So see, this is Valencia, this one. I don't know. Let me hold this up so maybe you can see. See, this is Valencia, and this is Valencia. And you can see there's a little bit of difference. This is Flamingo, and this is Flamingo. They're different. I mean, this is probably as close as you can get doing the printed color swatch. But if you just get a few inks, just... 
get a, a piece of glossy cardstock and do a drop. This is just one drop. Some of them may be two of ink. Let it spread out. Label it. Then you can see really what the colors are going to look like because you can't really tell in the bottles what the color is going to look at look like. You can go by the label, but that's pretty close. But you're not, you know, if you look at the ink in the bottle, you can't tell. So just a little hint there. Okay, so back to the supplies. The next thing you're going to need are uh, some felt and maybe, you know, rain, the, the pouncing tools if you want to get these from Ranger. I like them. You can make your own from uh, a little stick and a little piece of Velcro. And I cut out my own felt and I like to use the small ones. So this is for pouncing and these are nice tools to have to work with the inks. Okay. Straws and stirs. I made this particular flower painting with straws and stirs. You get a different effect. You can, you know, borrow one of these from your local McDonald's or something. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you go get your coffee, you just pick up an extra one or two. They won't mind. And then um, a straw. I like a bendy straw. You can use a straight straw. I like that because I can blow from outside of the view of the camera. Uh, and maybe you don't see as much of my head that way. <laughs> so straws are great. And I don't have any at the table right now, but Q-tips are nice. They're great for removing and for adding very small drops of ink. Okay. Now, it just so happens it has nothing. I'm not affiliated with Joggles or anything. Uh, I just happen to like them. I enjoy their videos and, and their product reviews and tests. And, and I buy my products from them. And they just happen to be having a sale this weekend, Labor Day weekend. And so if you want to get your inks at their 24% off, I think they have, they're having an alcohol ink sale and a Yupo paper sale. So if you want to go uh, shop this weekend and save, Joggles is the place to go. And I'm going to leave their link um, in the, in the box below. So you'll have that. I actually need to go see if I can add a few more colors to my collection. Plus, I'm almost out of Flamingo already, even though I just got it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. There's our supply list. I am going to put a complete supply list over on my website. So if you want to uh, follow the link down below to my website, and you can print out the supply list, and you will be good to go, and I will see you soon. Bye.